Reading is an important skill for English learners. According to Holden, 2004, reading is a course of ability to understand written or printed symbols. So reading is a lifelong skill to use both in school and throughout life. Reading skills have a relationship with other skills. That is why reading needs to be mastered by all English learners. The students who have major problems in the teaching and learning process, especially in learning reading comprehension. First, students have a lack of vocabulary. If students do not have enough vocabulary, of course, it will be difficult for them to know the meaning and understanding of the text they read. Second, students have difficulty identifying the main idea and they do not know the type of text they are reading. Then, when the teacher asks them about what they had read, they cannot remember information from the text. They become passive learners and lack confidence during the teaching and learning process, especially in learning English. To overcome these problems, teachers must have an accurate plan to get an effective way in the learning process. There are several methods and techniques for teaching reading that are interesting and can improve students' reading skills. One of the methods is cooperative learning and one of the techniques is the herringbone technique. Cooperative learning is a method that makes students involved in small group activities to obtain information and knowledge. As Larson and Freeman, 2000, state that cooperative learning basically involves students learning from each other in groups. In addition, Richards and Rogers 2001 mentioned cooperative learning is a teaching approach that makes maximum use of cooperative activities involving pairs and small groups of students in the classroom. The herringbone technique is a structured, disappearing procedure designed to help students organize important information in the text. The herringbone technique is a technique in which students answer WH questions Who, what, when, why, where, and how on graphical features such as fish skeletons. Deegan 2006 states that the herringbone strategy is a strategy that develops the understanding of the main idea by plotting the who, what, when, where, why, and how questions on a visual fish skeleton diagram. Bochart in Deegan 2006 say that this technique is very suitable for expository text but can also be used with narrative text. This technique is designed to improve students' reading comprehension by organizing important information in a text. In addition, according to Taylor, 2008, the herringbone technique consists of short graphic organizers and is a concerted way to help English learners find comprehensive idea in a paragraph or section. Students answer the questions list on the fishbone organizer chart. This leads to the synthesis of all the information in one newly created sentence which becomes the statement of the main idea. Cho, 2004, adds that the herringbone technique was developed so named because it resembles a fish skeleton which is useful for analyzing an idea. It contains six questions that help students to organize the details of the text. Deegan, 2006, mentions the technical procedure is that students work in pairs 
the teacher chooses a narrative text, the teacher makes a visual herringbone diagram, the teacher asks the students to record the answers to the questions on the diagram. They will look for answers to first, who is the author talking about? Second, what do they do? Third, when did they do it? Fourth, where do they do it? Fifth, how do they do it? And sixth, why do they do it? Students read the text to find answers and record answers on diagrams. The teacher shows students how each answer fits into a slot in the main idea sentence. Students write down the main idea using information from the herringbone diagram. The types of questions used as a test tool for text comprehension in the herringbone technique reading are as follows. Who is involved? What do they do? When did it happen? Where did it happen? How is it done? Why did it happen? With the types above, students can identify the main ideas of the text questions. The main meaning is one way to understand the content of the text. Advantages of the herringbone technique The herringbone technique provides many advantages for the reading process. According to Degan, 2006, the herringbone technique has the following advantages. First, it helps students to code information in a way that improves their ability to answer essay questions. Second, helping students to draw relationship between facts and main ideas in the text. Third, students can find facts and put them into diagrams. Fourth, students can arrange the main idea of the fact in the paragraph. Fifth, students are more active in group discussion after using the herringbone diagram. From these advantages, it can be concluded that the herringbone technique is an effective and easy to use graphic organizer for students to construct main ideas and code information and gain their active participation in group discussions. The herringbone technique also provides students with fun reading activities in the teaching and learning process. Disadvantages of the herringbone technique According to a website, quizlet.com, which describes teaching and learning techniques, there are several drawbacks to using the herringbone technique in the teaching and learning process as follows. First, students may have different ideas about what the main idea is and confuse their peers with different answers. Second, students can get off topic when working in groups. To overcome this weakness of the herringbone technique, the researcher will guide students on how to choose the correct main idea by giving some tips. If students get off topic, the researcher will ask them to focus on their work paper or make a deal with students who divide from the topic or worksheet. The herringbone technique is the process of creating a structured outline designed to help students organize important information in a text. In this technique, the teacher divides the students into several groups, then the teacher gives a text, some questions, and fish-shaped chart. Then the teacher asks the students to work in groups to answer the questions and answers on the chart. Then the students are asked to find the main idea of the text based on the answers. 
This technique is more appropriate for students whose learning abilities are below average so that the students can understand the text. Herringbone technique is a technique to help students find important information and main ideas in a text by looking for answers to six comprehension questions on a diagram. Conclusion the use of the herringbone technique in learning to read comprehension require lecturers to carry out certain activities in the teaching process and learning process in accordance with the stage of the herringbone technique. The application of the herringbone technique can have a positive effect and help students more easily understand the text. Okay, I think that's all for the materials. Thank you and see you next video.